Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for registering and attending this uh, short web talk about speeding up Alfresco and Alfresco share uh, using uh, Nginx uh, web server technology. I hope this uh, is useful for you. Just going to try to, to talk from my experience, and it's, it's going to be short, so just make me some, make some questions at the end of, of the web talk if you need it. So, yes, I'm going to start. So my name is Sergio Rojas. I currently work as a software architect for SciSy. I've been working here nearly three years. However, I started working for Alfresco eight years ago. I've been participating in many different kind of projects from small to big. And currently, uh, we are working with a project with around 12 million document records and 1,000 Kankam users. In this project, we are using Nginx, so because the performance is quite important there. So as you can uh, tell, we've got uh, uh, some experience already using Nginx, and, and we can comment some tricks here. So why do we need a, um, a web server? So we need a web server uh, for many different reasons. And I'm just highlighting here um, the most important, in, in my opinion. So. We need a web server because of, uh, to improve the performance, so uh, because we can cache content, uh, uh, because we can uh, speed up uh, web page loading, because we can load balance between the different uh, application servers to distribute the request and, and, and improve the performance. But we also need a, a web server for security and control reasons. So I would say that 99% of the projects have been working Alfresco or not, you need to hide the, the real application ports from to the users. You can get that using a web server. And sometimes for security reasons, you need to do some uh, things like, for example, uh, filtering the mind types for, for the contents that uh, uh, are traveling between the, the client and the, and the application server. Now, as you can as you know, we've got many different options uh, about web servers, technologies, Apache, IES, Nginx. So why why do we pick Nginx? So we pick Nginx because it joins the main uh, characteristics of a web server and of a reverse balancing proxy. Uh, it's specialized in, in, in static content, so uh, it focuses uh, uh, its purpose in, in Static content and uh, leave the, rep the responsibility for the uh, dynamic content to the application server and proxies uh, the content coming from that. And we pick NGNS because it's very good for the performance. As you can see in in the picture, in the the one on the left, is a comparison between NGNX and, and Apache uh, that shows the number of rec uh, requests per second that can deal with. Uh, 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 regarding the uh, concurrent connections. So as you can see, for Nginx we can deal with, we can offer more requests per second uh, as the concurrent connections grow. And another very important thing to use Nginx as well is that that performance does not, rel uh, does not rely on the underlying hardware. As an example, you can have a look to the uh, picture on the right, and you can see the memory managed uh, a comparison between Nginx and, and Apache. As you can see, uh, the memory manage is better in Nginx, even with a high number of concurrent connections, or much better than in Apache, which is called an exponential uh, growing. Um, so what, as I said before, <coughs> One of the reasons because we use Nginx or our web server in particular Nginx is because it, it, it can uh, be used as a reverse proxy for all the Fresco interfaces. Um, so that, that's the thing that other web servers can do, but in my opinion, uh, the added value that uh, Nginx can offer is that we can configure as well interfaces. Or we can load balance interfaces like the Alfresco SharePoint integration and like the IMAP integration. That's something we've done in that project I commented I'm working right now, and it's actually quite useful to to be able to to balance the, the request of those two interfaces apart from the normal one, the Alfresco repository and Alfresco share. 
So here you can see an example of, of how to, to act as a reverse pro proxy for uh, Alfresco repository and, and Alfresco share. As you can see, uh, you can see that the configuration for the SSL, so engineers will be listening in the 443. The, all the certificate work and configuration will be done in the web server level and not in Alfresco. And then the Nginx uh, will rewrite uh, the URL depending on if we want to, to redirect to Alfresco share or to Alfresco repository. So all the SSL and certificates work is done in the web server. We delegate into the web server. Here you can see a little bit of configuration for the uh, IMAP interface I was uh, mentioning before. So we delegate as well the, the certificate and, and uh, for the web server and all the certificate work for the web server. And then it's not in this transparency, it's not in this slide, but um, um, we use PHP to, to implement the load balancing for the different nodes of Alfresco. Uh, if you need more information about this, just let us know at the end of this web, web talk. And as I said before, uh, we can use as well as a reverse proxy for, for the SharePoint integration. Uh, uh, in Alfresco, before Alfresco 5, uh, uh, as you know, it was a different server, an embedded Jetty server, and, and obviously we can configure um, Nginx to uh, redirect all the traffic between different nodes of, of our first cross was. Yeah, you've got the configuration. We can use Nginx as well to improve the performance of the of the system. And how do we do that? For example, we can use uh, Nginx to, to cache uh, the contents coming from the application server to speed it up. But what can we cache in, in Nginx? So we can cache, as you can see here in the slide, Stated resources, <clears throat> but a very good important point uh, speaking about Alfresco is that we can cache as well web assets. This is particularly important in Alfresco for things like the thumbnails and the previews of, of the documents. Uh, since the transformation in Alfresco is normally a bottleneck, and obviously, we, if we are able to, to cache in the web server layer uh, all, the thumbnail, all those thumbnails and, and previews. We, we will avoid going to, for example, the transformation server so many times, and we'll speed, speed up the, the overall performance. So this is an example on how we cache static resources. As you can see, we declare uh, a, a cache that we store in, in our file system. The file system uh, where the Nginx is, is in the server, where the Nginx is running. And then we just attach in, in each location the cache where we want to, to store those static resources. This is the second example, and it's how we configure the cache uh, for the web assets. And as you can see, we can cache things like the CSS, KIF, TTS, and as well, at the end of the example, you can see this is the URL used uh, for our first call for the thumbnails and as well for the previews. And um, we, will, we will cast that information with using this configuration. <sighs> to improve the performance, it's quite important as well to, to load balance requests between different nodes of a cluster so we don't overload uh, one single node. And Ng Nginx can help us doing that as well. It's, it's an out of the box functionality using the upstream module. That's the way we, we configured that. Um, in Alfresco, as you can read here in the, in the configuration of some, uh, example, in Alfresco, uh, in Nginx, uh, unfortunately, a sticky session is not supported, or is supported only in the enterprise version. Uh, in Alfresco, we need uh, a sticky session, but we've got a trick here to do with a no enterprise version that is using IP hash. So IP has an algorithm, an algorithm to, to balance requests based on the client IP address. So obviously, uh, every request coming from a specific IP address, a specific client, will be always redirected to one single uh, Alfresco node. So we could use this one to, to balance between different Alfrescos. Yeah, you've got the configuration using the upstream module. <coughs> 
Um, the last term I will I'd like to to comment a little bit about this uh, page speed module. This page speed module is 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 not in particular of nginx. It's a, actually a module developed by Google that attempts to improve uh, web uh, page loading time and as well to reduce bandwidth usage of web servers. So there is an nginx version for this specific module, uh, and this is the simplest con uh, configuration, although uh, we can configure in a, for extra in a deeper way. Um, the main characteristics of, of uh, page, speed, uh, module, uh, page speed module you can see here, so basically it reduces the, the size um, of uh, network traffic and, and um, speed up the performance in general. All of these features can be configured as well. Uh, let us know if you need more information. And here you can see um, a little bit com uh, comparison between um, a use case without using that specific module, page speed, and the other one using it. As you can see, the page load time has considerably reduced and the page size uh, has reduced also. That will improve, improve quite a lot the performance uh, of the whole system. And that's everything. Thank you.